Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to the Electronic Campfire. Today is Friday. This would be... My watch isn't even working today. Okay, Friday, November 11th. <laughs> I I, hi, hello, hello. I am so glad to see you. This is so weird. Let me show you why this is so weird, okay? So, um, I, I'm sorry, I've, I've got a... What is this? A Sony. Okay, so this is what I see, right? <laughs> That's what I see. That's it. That's all I see. It's it's so bizarre because, you know, I um I it's like I'm with you but I'm not, you know? So it's it's it when I walk into a room and there's real people, there's an energy that you can just pick up when there's real people, but when you're staring at a piece of glass, it's it's like I have to look down and make sure that you're here. Okay, you're here. Happy Veterans Day for those of you who are veterans out there. Thank you for your service. Um, okay, let's get grounded. First of all, what is up with the Super Chats? I haven't even started the show yet, and you've already added Super Chats. What's the matter with you people? I haven't given you anything yet, but thank you. Let's see who's in here. Okay, first of all, Mr. Jarble. In fact, Mr. Jarble, I want to show you something. If you are watching... There's a reason I have this camera. Now, I keep everything in this studio as sort of little souvenirs, like when I do the exposure triangle, right, and I draw that on a piece of wood, that goes back here. So stuff from past shows will make it somewhere into this studio. You know, I've got this thing over here. Let me see if I can show it to you. Boom. So I've got this right here, right? That was from an, that was from an old Fast Friday right? From a long time ago. Um, I've got the Gear Iguana Hall of Fame. You see that? All right. So I have something, Mr. Jarble, from a past live stream that has to do with you. Check this out. Okay. It's right back here. I'm going to walk right back here. Here we go. Have a look at this. Look at that. <laughs> that was when we had the, the toast. Do you remember that? Okay. Um, by the way, since I have this Sony cam out, any vloggers out there, would you like to know a little, a little uh, a hack, a trick, right? Normally, you put the microphone on the camera facing forward, obviously. Okay, obviously. You have the mic plugged in, your external mic, you're getting good shotgun audio. Hi, guys. You, it's looking good. However, sometimes you'll want to take the camera and you'll want to do kind of a walk and talk or you're showing something and you're talking at the same time. And I'm surprised not enough people know this. Take the mic, turn it around like this. Just, and turn down the volume a little bit because you're going to be really close to it, but you can get really good audio. See, you can go like this. Okay, right, folks. So what we have here is a Fujifilm X-T4, right? Simple, simple. Anybody know about that already? Or, you know, is I try and show you something new each week. <laughs> okay. Back to Super Chat. Okay, we had Mr. Jarble. Who else do we have here? Blue Tag 318. Thank you so much, sir. I know who you are. Uh, and you did make it tonight, and I'm glad you made it. I'm really glad you make it. That is awesome. Florian, thank you. That will help with my XT5. There will be no hangover unless it gets delayed. Then there's going to be a big hangover. But thank you so much for the super chat. In fact, do any of you know Big Head Taco, Fujifilm YouTuber, photographer? 
He wants to do a little collab with me, sort of a Fujifilm X-T5 live party when that camera comes in. So we might be doing that. Uh, Kenneth, how you doing? It is awesome. And you are awesome for being here. Thank you so much for the super chat. Inscrutable Owl, hello there. It is Friday. Yes, it is. Um, I cannot tell you this Friday could not have come faster enough, quicker, you know, more quickly enough for me. Long week. <laughs> I did two videos. They were, they were two big videos. So yeah. Uh, George, hello. And thank you so much, sir, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. It helps with the fund because we're going to upgrade this thing very soon. And Roland, thank you so much for the super chat. In fact, what's interesting is I heard from Fujifilm today because Oh, I got to I got to get a little sad here. I had to send back the XH2S, the 600 mm zoom and that other lens, uh, the 18 to 120 or whatever that one is, you know, that that really cool zoom. Lens. I had to send this stuff back to Fuji. So, I wrote to Fuji and I said, "Hey Fuji, the box is on the way, you know, I'm just saying here's the tracking number, right?" And then, you know, I just put in the, the notice that I sent them. I said, by the way, if it should ever come in, I don't need an X-T5. I've already ordered one, you know, right? I've already ordered one. I ordered, so I, I, and I also told them that because I want, if they have test units, I want those to go out to channels or reviewers that, you know, that haven't bought one or don't have one on order yet. So they immediately wrote back, this is Fuji, and said, we were about to send it to you as a loaner, but thank you for letting me know. So it seems like for those YouTubers out there, Fuji may start getting or has some of those X-T5s very soon. And hopefully those will get in more hands and we'll see more reviews. I can promise you that you will see a review on this channel the second I get one. Well, a couple, maybe a week after I get one, yeah. Okay, so let's see who else we have. David Bargetzi, how you doing, sir? Oscar, good to see you. Hello, hello. I love Big Head Taco, David. He is great. He is great. Brian, thank you for your service. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, recruiter. Okay. This is great. Look at all you folks. Jesper, hello there. Hi to Denmark. Oh, boy. Canada, we got people from all over. Okay. Netherlands. Frank, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. So let's get to the first subject of today's campfire, and that is the X-H2. So here's the deal. I have never used... There's a zoom feature, a digital zoom feature on this camera, the X-H2, and I've never used it before, nor have I ever used something called 4K HQ, nor have I ever used 4K H2 with the digital zoom. So I decided to try it out today. And today's Veterans Day, and my son was playing in a band for an event for Veterans Day. So I brought this setup exactly. I brought the 50 to 140 millimeter lens with this exact camera, right? And I had this monopod. So I had this screwed into the box. By the way, this is a great monopod. If you're looking to get a monopod, th this is, check it out. So it's a Siri. Um, hold on, let me get the light in here better. That's as bright as I can get it. Okay, well, it's the P236US. Um, just such a great little unit. Uh, I, love, I love this thing. Anyway, I had it on there. Now... I was seated pretty far away from where the band was playing, okay? Let me show you how far away I was. I was sitting right here. Okay, this is the view from my seat. Can you see that? Have a look at this. And the band, if you see them, were sort of in the center of the picture, just below the scoreboard for the basketball, all right? And then, right, here's kind of an approximation of what I was seeing. And I was zoomed all the way in at one 40, okay, trying to shoot this, this performance. And I had a mic on here, a shotgun mic, which wasn't great because I was really too far away. So what I did, and let me let me get this going for you. Turn this on. I'm going to show you some settings here. So 
And the reason I'm making a big deal about this is because I'm actually blown away at the quality and this little tip I want to pass along. So by the way, and it's not just for X-H2, it will be the same tip for X-T5 because X-T5 can do the same thing. So I want to show it to you. All right. So in the camera, right, in the menu settings, there is an area in movie mode, okay? And right now it's set to it, 4K HQ. Do you all see that? All right. Normally it's in 4K. Now this particular camera, the Fujifilm X-H2, this particular camera can go all the way to 8K, all right? But the upcoming X-T5 can only go to 6.5K. However, the HQ version, right, which is right here, and in this case, it's 4K HQ, 16 by 9 at 24 frames a second, all right? And what that is, is 4K HQ is 4K that's oversampled from 8K on this camera and on the XH, sorry, the X-T5, it will be oversampled from the 6.2K. So what it is, it's like, they're taking the higher resolution, they're oversampling it, and you're getting the 4K size, but you should have more definition in your footage. Now, that's part one. And yes, you kind of do get more definition in your footage. Let me show you now some footage that I shot. This was all the way zoomed in at 140 on this lens. Now I'm gonna show you two pieces of footage. This is the first, okay? I want you to kind of watch them both. You're gonna look at them both and compare. But the first one I'm about to show you was shot straight up at the setting right here, which is 4K HQ, 16 by nine at 24 frames per second. Zoomed in at 140, okay? And let's roll that, let's roll it. Let me find it, here it is right here. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, the stabilization's really good. See that? And the footage is so clean. Look how close up I am. Okay, so. <laughs> I fooled you. That actually wasn't as close up as I was. I was further back. What I was showing you was from the digital zoom, okay? And it's so darn good on this camera that you can't tell. I'll bet a lot of you couldn't figure out that was digitally zoomed in. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, if you go back into the camera settings, right? So what I did was I went down to here. You see where it says digital zoom. You all see that. I went boom. I went, oh, let's turn it on. Boom. Okay, I turned it on. And you see in the middle of the menu, it says zoom and set. Okay, now set is the drive button. And on this camera, that's this kind of thing right there. It's basically a custom button, but you can set it to any button you want. That's just the default, okay? So, and then there's this left and right zoom. You see that right there? And if I press the keypad, hold on, let me get this here. If I press the keypad, I can zoom in by and zoom out by using these two buttons right here, okay? So, what I'm going to do, let me try it in the studio here. I'm going to Go all the way forward to right there. Let's get this a little bit brighter. I... Okay, so I'm just turning it up. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Here we go. Look at how smooth that is. Look at that. You see that? Okay, you see that's digitally zooming in HQ 4K. There it is back. And it zooms in at two times resolution two times, right? So it's like that. And that is really cool. So now I brought that footage into a video editor. And in my case, it was Final Cut Pro, but it would work with any editor. And then now remember, I was already zoomed in two times, double zoomed in. Okay. So I had it at as far as I could go. And then I brought it into the editor. And then I zoomed in in the editor, I zoomed in again, another 100%. So it's like a 400% zoom. Let me show you that footage right now. This is this is now doubly zoomed in. Double double zoom. Here we go. Watch this. Check this out. 
Look at that. You see that? Look at the hair definition on the hair, on the eyelashes. Look at that. That's amazing. And so what's happening is it's oversampling. It's sampling down from the 8K to 4K, and then you're digitally zooming in, and it just looks great. The footage you saw has not been edited, has not been color balanced, has not been color corrected, nothing. That's straight out of camera, straight out of camera. And I was using um, Provia. I mean, I wasn't even like shooting with an F-log and then doing something with it, nothing. I'm really impressed. So I wanted to show that to you. If you have this camera, I would recommend try experimenting, go into, you know, into your movie mode and set it to 4K HQ. Try that out. Now, obviously for this live stream, I didn't prepare a bunch of comparisons with regular 4K and 4K HQ, blah, 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 blah. I just didn't want to get into all the weeds with that. However, when I get the X-T5 in this studio, I am going to do an in-depth comparison of the various video modes and which one is the best, which, you know, how they compare, how they stack up. So look for that as well. So anyway, wanted to tell you that. Um, all right. And yeah, this, this is a great monopod. Absolutely, Ray, you are right on the money. I love this thing. Okay, what should we talk about now? Ah, let's do a little bit of some news. De -de 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 -de. Okay, so we'll do some news. <laughs> I like having a little bit of news, and I'll be honest with you, I can't teach every single Friday live. It's, it's like I don't, you know, it's hard, because that's the kind of stuff I got to shoot regular videos on. I want to fill the time. I want to make sure I do this every Friday. So news is good because I can talk about a couple of things, right, that are interesting. And, you know, we get some content here. So we're going to talk about news right now. What are we going to talk about? Well, let's talk about the rumor. Has it come true? Will it come true? Can we say anyone, anyone? The 16 to 80 millimeter f2.8 Sigma lens for Fujifilm's X-mount. Now, Sigma mentioned in February that that was going to be coming this year, most notably December. Now, I don't know if it is for sure, but that will be a very interesting lens, also depending upon the price point of that. So that's kind of an exciting little news story I, was, I stumbled across, okay? The next thing, let's talk about the next thing. Let's talk about the... The worst sounding word for one of the most useful camera features, and that would be, drum roll please, a lot, <laughs> a lot. There is a brand new, <laughs> brand new Fujifilm LUT. It's a LUT for the X-T5. Okay, that just came out. So for the X-T5, you've got this new LUT. And if you can see right here on the, the graphic, it is for F-Log and for F-Log 2, okay? Um, which is definitely, definitely kind of cool. Okay, let me turn this off. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I have all these slides. It's like, this is like a Photoshop nightmare this stream software, because I have like every graphic that you see, even that band video clip, they're all layered and I have to switch them on and off. And the little icon that I use to control this, it is so small. It's, you need an electron microscope to see it. Okay. So I go back to, so when you install the LUT, okay, this is what you see, right? And there's the new folder for the X-T5. And then you've got, you've got an eternal LUT and it looks like bleach bypass, uh, BB, I think that's bleach bypass. So that's great that that's ready for the X-T5. Can all of you hear Piper barking upstairs? She is making so much racket. Oh my gosh, okay. Piper, where are we here? Let me, uh, ba 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 ba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Martin, this is an awesome, awesome thing. Thank you. I calm everybody. Calm down. Everybody calm. All right, good. Um, all right. So Natalie, I have not heard that. Um, but wait. Oh, well, actually, yes, I have. 8K to a fast SD card is that's pushing it, and that's obviously why CF Express is there. Um, I, somebody at Fuji mentioned that the the out 
the readout times on SD cards are so problematic. And that was the reason why the X-T5 does not have anything higher than 6.2. Um, sort of a little, little thing like that. Yes, Norman, it absolutely is solid. I love the feel of this camera. I'm starting, I have to say, and I haven't gotten the X-T5 yet, I am starting to fall in love with this camera. This is the X-H2, not the S, the 2. I love this camera. I loved using it today. It was just, talk about solid. It was wonderful. Okay, back to the news, back to the news. So the next thing has to do with in, 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 this I found on Fuji Rumors, okay? So Fuji Rumors has the source for this, and this is Instax. Check this out. I don't know if you can see it. Instax, down below it says, the Instax division of Fujifilm, you see that? Made more revenue, okay, more money, 119.1, right? 119.1 billion dollars, okay? than Nikon's imaging products business, <laughs> right? That's some serious money, okay, for these Instax. And, and, and I, I don't like that. It was really hard to, to, I have a video out today on this unit. I've reviewed this unit before and I have, okay, I've also reviewed this unit, okay? And every time I go to review these things, I have to say Instax. Insta I, and I screw it up. I say Instax or Intax. Instax. It's Instax. Anyway, very profitable. Fuji is knocking it out of the park with these little things. Um, and they're cool. They're fun. And, and see the video if you haven't seen it already. I go through how to use this thing and, and all of that. But yeah, can you believe that? That division is just boosting Fuji film. So good for Instax, you know? And hey, and if it gets people excited about sharing photographs and having ones that you can actually, you know, as I said, you can touch and you can feel. And what's great about the Instax is you can put these little QR codes on them, right? And then when someone scans it, you can have other little secret messages and things like that. So, you know, it's not my cup of tea. It's not something I'm going to be using on a daily basis, but there is definitely, I think, a market segment for this, and they are selling these things like hotcakes. So good for them is what I have to say. Um, all right. So let's see. Oh, yeah, yen. You're right. Okay, so that was yen. Sorry. But that's still a lot of money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, good, Jennifer. Agree. I think it is great. Okay, so that's the Instax thing. So um, you're, and that's right. So this is just so we are clear right now, it, this is yen, 119.1 billion in yen. Okay. Japanese yen, a lot of money that they're making off of that. So very, very cool. All right. So hello, Carlos, Patagonia. Awesome. Awesome. Love to get down there. Love to get down there some, sometime. All right, folks, so now let's see here. We kind of do a check on the stream. How are we doing on viewer activity? We are at 201 concurrent viewers, over 200 today, and I hardly advertise this. This is great. Thank you all for being here. I'm, I, I love it. So I think at this point, what we should do is a little bit of channel updates, okay? And... And the reason I put those little cards, channel updates, news, I'm not trying to be cool and show off my layered, you know, live stream skip. Well, okay, I am a little bit, but the, the real reason is later on after this video, the playback version goes live on YouTube, I can shuttle to where it says each slide and then I could put timestamps for people. And it's just an easy way for me to kind of chapter these live streams. Okay, that, that's why I do it. All right, um, so coming up is going to be a, we're going into now November. We're actually, we're almost midway through November. And obviously what is this time of year for YouTubers? This is major, major push for product reviews, affiliate links. You know, this is a real grind and hustle time of year. Uh, at least for content creators, because let me tell you, once, you know, December ends and January rolls around, it's crickets. It's crickets with regard to money. The money on YouTube goes boom, boom, 
just nothing. January, February, March is tough. So the channels like Pal to Tech need to do well and stuff. And that's why you see videos like, you know, the holiday gift guide and the best new products of, you know, all that stuff is because I think a lot of creators are trying to make up for that, you know, four month period where it kind of flatlines or they're just greedy. I don't know. Or maybe both. But I can tell you for this channel, yes, I'm for the next month, you're going to see a slight shift in content going more toward product reviews. Now I have a backlog of products. Some products came out over a year ago that I haven't reviewed yet. And you know, I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I am getting to it and particularly lens reviews. So that is coming. I've got a major push on gimbals. I have three gimbals to review. So that is also coming. Um, in fact, I was going to do the gimbal review today and that got preempted till next week because of the Instax. I wanted, you know, that was Fuji. And I wanted to kind of give Fuji a little bit of a payback because of the fact that they had sent me the gear and Instax just came out and I wanted to have a review of Instax. So I put that video out today instead of the gimbal one. But the gimbal one's coming. Um, obviously, the the going to still do the education ones, the Flash series, continuing that, Capture One, continuing that. But between now and the holiday season time, I really do need to focus on, I hate to say it, but gear, gear, you know, and it's just for keeping the channel running, you know, um, and I'm still going to do education stuff, but just be aware that it's going to shift a little bit and be more product and gear focused um, in, in the videos that you see. Okay. The other thing is, you know, the production of the videos, I need to go a bit faster. I've been doing two a week, which is fine. I am never on this channel going to do vertical video shorts. I'm just not, I, th I think I'm just not. So what I'd like to do is some kind of balance in between where th they're shorter videos, because do I really need to talk for 15 minutes about say a monopod, right? No, I can pull this off in, in five minutes. So they're gonna be shorter videos and they'll maybe come earlier in the week and they'll cover like one product, maybe a lens, but I'm not gonna go into 9,000 different specs on the lens. It's just gonna be, here's the lens, here's what I think, here's a couple of demo shots, here's a couple of raw files you can download, blah, 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 and pop it off in five or six minutes. And I'm gonna do a few more of those than I normally do around this time of the year. Um, and then the other thing, and, and I gotta, I gotta talk to y'all about this, but yeah, <laughs> is it sharp? Um, I gotta, I gotta talk to you about this. Um, those of you out there who have reached out to me with questions. Okay. I, I, I gotta get serious here. It's really hard because I'm having such a good time with you, but this is driving me just bat s nuts. Um, I, first of all, I love answering your questions. I, I really do. I love educating. I make, you know, YouTube videos, teaching stuff. I trust me. I love educating and helping people and answering questions and all of that. I have decided just based on between now and the, and the end of this year, looking at how much, where I'm spending my time. Okay. I have to dial back and I've mentioned this before, but I'm kind of really going to draw the line now. I, I have to dial back answering questions through email, through social media. Here is not a problem. Discord is not a problem, but email, social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all of that stuff, Facebook. I get a lot of Facebook messages. I don't even go on to Facebook, you know? So it's, I, if you're trying to reach me through those other platforms and you're not getting a response, please, first of all, I'm not ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you most of the time. Honestly, I don't even know that you've written, okay? Until like three weeks later and I suddenly see all the ones that I've missed. So just know that. Some of you, I deliberately ignore. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, <laughs> because I'll get like a, a single sentence and it'll just say, um, you know, video capability, you know, XR7 versus T14. Thoughts, question mark. That word thoughts kind of puts a shiver 
down my spine, okay? Because what that requires is for me to, to write war and peace in a, to a single person. And if, I, if you multiply that out times all the messages I get, I, I can't do it. So yeah, I, I have been, and, and I'm kind of, I feel bad about it, but I don't answer those anymore and I can't. Um, Instagram direct messages, I've stopped with those. I just have. And I put notices up on my site saying, you know, please use Google, go to forums. There's great forums on Facebook that people can help out. There's Discord service, but just know that I can't answer all those questions. And I'm going to really draw a hard line on that. Uh, no more late nights staying up doing that. I just can't. I cannot do it. And I hope you can understand that. I, I think you do. But some people have gotten real annoyed and almost belligerent with you're ignoring me kind of thing. And I'm not ignoring. Um, and if I am ignoring, it's nothing personal. I, I don't even know who you are. At the same time, newsflash for you. You don't know who I am. And to expect me to stop what I'm doing and to answer all of your questions and give you all of this free help, okay, is presumptuous. So it, it works both ways. OK, so just know that I, you know, if things settle down a little bit, I will get back to doing that more and I will try when I can to do it. But I, I just have to dial it back. And I hope you can understand that. I know most of you, most of you do. But there's been a few lately that that haven't seen that point of view yet. And I'm hoping they'll watch this video and they'll go, OK, you, you know what? You're right. I hope. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. Where are we doing here? Um. Boy, we're lots of different subjects. Uh, let me see. Pick one here. Um, yes, Capture One Norman is doing great. I love the new version. Um, who got the new version? Who's using the new version? Uh, 23. Oh, here, so I'll tell you something funny that happened with Capture One. Um, the Capture One video was supposed to come out last Friday. At least, okay, it wasn't supposed to come out last Friday. It was supposed to be delivered to capture one for their review. Th that was a sponsored video. Okay, they paid me, and I and I said that in the video, they paid me to make that video. And capture one, it has been great. They've been really wonderful to work with. <laughs> but what happened was, all right, I was using a beta version of the software. And so I have my time now scheduled pretty tight. And I'll have a studio day where I come in here and turn on all the lights, get the camera, and I shoot, and I try and batch process stuff. Now, when shooting something like a Capture One training tutorial, I have to have this whole thing set up. I have to have all of my demo photos set up. I've got to have, I have multi-cameras running. And so I get all of that prepared. I get all ready to go. I turn everything on, and boom. And what happened was the software, the beta, either expired or there was some kind of weird license thing that went with it. It wasn't an official release of Capture One. So it just stopped and I couldn't do anything. And so I lost like three days of, I, I, you know, the studio, I had to go and do something else in the studio. I it had to go back to Capture One. They immediately responded and, and they did help and they got me the right code to get the right license, to get the thing working. But um, that's the kind of stuff that actually can, push things out. And so, yeah, that video was delayed. And that's the reason that Capture One came out yesterday and not on the day that Capture One version 23 was released. It was just because everything, I couldn't get it in time. And so I just thought, you know, these little things happen behind the scenes and, you know, um, I, but they were great about it and have been really supportive. And so, yeah, Capture One version 23, I loved testing it out. I love what it's, the, the improvements they made. The culling with Capture One, I would say at this point, is very close, if not right on the mark, with the, what is it called? Um, Photo Mechanic. Okay. Now, I love Photo Mechanic too. And Photo Mechanic, if you're a sports photographer, is just a must have. But if you're not a sports photographer, you're not into AP or Reuters, and you're not needing all of those advanced features, because photo mechanics not cheap either, the culling improvements and the speed improvements in Capture One um, were noticeable from at least someone like me that's used to using photo mechanic. And my normal way of processing things, I dump everything in photo mechanic, 
And that's where I do my star and delete and calling. And then it goes into Capture One or Lightroom. And now I'm going to try skipping that step and just going straight into Capture One because of the speed improvements. Again, though, I'm on a I'm on a MacBook, a newer one, a 2021 MacBook 16 inch. So, um, you know, it just depends. But the speed improvements also are for GPUs on Windows as well. OK, so let's see here. Do I think they will add more features? Yes, I absolutely do, um, particularly with regard to layers in styles. Right now, it is only for, oh gosh, I'm blanking out now, the layer that goes all the way across that is a, a filled, em an empty adjustment layer or a filled adjustment layer. But there, the Luma stuff and all that is not supported yet. I think that that is going to be, now they have not told me this, but that's just my, my gut feeling because they've already started down that road and that was a big one. Okay. Uh, I, good point, Jonathan. I don't know about that segment. I mean, price wise, you got me sold, but I, you know, 18 to 55. What have I always said about the 18 to 50, 55? Um, where's my, 18, where's my 18 to 55? <laughs> I have always said, this is my favorite lens and it still is for Fuji. I love the 18 to 55. So may, I can't imagine Sigma or anybody else ever prying this out of my hands. I love that lens. Love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can go back. I'm gonna go back now to some earlier comments in case I missed a few. Uh, where are we down? Oh, we're up to 216 concurrent. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Thank you, Jonathan. So, all right, you know what? And Jonathan's not the first person to say this about the old intro. I personally like the new intro music, the, the faster one. You know what I'm talking about? But I have heard, and he is not the first, from people who have said that they prefer the older one uh, for the channel, the regular music intro. Um, so let me know, because, oh, hey, you know what? I just work here. You're in charge. If you want the old intro and more people want that, poof, done. You got it. I'll do the old intro. Um, but I, you know, the, the newer intro is faster. And so I thought that that would be better for people because they just want, you know, enough of the intro, get to it. But hey, I'll put the old intro back. And I do the old intro for the live streams that like today's live stream. Uh, okay, George, you and me both are getting the XT5. That's on 1121. Did it get delayed? Is there something you know about? Because last I heard it was the 17th. And if you think I'm counting days right now, yes, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jarvel. Yes, hit that like button. Yes, please. Don't, don't be notified, okay? Don't do the notifications. You get too many of those. They're annoying. You don't need yet another notification. But the like button, you can do that. Hit like. That helps, helps a lot. Um, but, uh, okay, so Laura, the 18 to 55 is spectacular. Putting a hood word for my echo. Okay, okay, ba, ba, ba. All right, excellent value for the money. Good. Vote for the classic intro. All right, see, we got one vote for the classic intro. Another one. Old is better. Geez, I would have never known that. I thought like everyone would have loved the new one because it's shorter and the music's a little more modern. But hey, you know, <laughs> just, I shouldn't work here. I should just do what I'm told, you know? Uh, okay, geez, another one. Look at this. This is crazy. Fine. You know what? Uh, we'll go back to the classic intro. You've just decided for me. Mr. Charble, what do you think? You, you carry a lot of weight around this channel, my friend. So put it in there. All right. Um, so what are you all doing this evening? You want to know what I'm doing? I'm doing the greatest thing. I'm going to indoctrate. I'm, well, <laughs> let me ask a question before I tell you what I'm going to do this evening. Are there any viewers here from India? <laughs> okay. Anywhere in India, doesn't matter. Anywhere in India, anyone from the India region of the world. Let me know, please, in the uh, comments. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, uh, I need to do more Synology stuff. You're right. That's another one. Old one. Everyone, everyone's saying 
Well, one person, Len doesn't want Len doesn't want the old intro. Len, I hate to tell you this, you're it looks like from a democratic point of view, you may be outvoted here. I want the new one too. I'm with Len, okay? But I'm mix them up. Okay, that may be what we'll do. That may be what we'll do. Uh boy, you guys are taking this really seriously. Wow. <laughs> Gosh, John. Oh. Okay, so um what time is it? What are we doing on time? Oh good, I got about five minutes. So so tonight. Uh, and by the way, anybody from India, please let me know. I am going to be showing my kids. We are going to all watch an Indian movie called R R R. Has anybody heard of R R R? <laughs> and if you've seen R R R, let me know in the comments. Um, <laughs> it has to be seen to be believed. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Relaxing a little bit. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I love Bo, thinks it's a good balance. Okay, so Mr. Jarble has confirmed that he finds that he likes both of them and he thinks it's a good balance. Okay, so that's it. Settled then. We're going to do a balance of the old and the new. Like maybe I'll alternate. What I might do is if it's a slightly more important video, like XT5 review, I'll do the old intro. If it's like, you know... Um, the type of plastic used in a lens cap, that one might have the new one. You know, it might lean more than the new one. <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay. No, RRR is not a laughing pirate. <laughs> yeah, it is a laughing pirate. Arg! Arg! No, RRR. That is literally the name of the movie. The letter R three times in a row. And here's what's funny. I want you to try this right now. I want you to go to Google, okay, and type in R, R, R in the search box. Just type it in, okay? That's all, just R, R, R. And look at the results when they come up. And you will see this little Easter egg that Google has put in there. I just noticed this about a half an hour before doing this live stream. And it's a, it's a motorcycle riding, right, with a, with a horse running. And that's part of the movie. For those that have seen it would know exactly what that is. But RR is an Indian uh, film, uh, three hours plus, but it is a wild ride. Uh, Overhyped movie. Really? You think so? You think so, uh, Praveen? Well, let me tell you this. So it may be overhyped, but isn't it the number one film in all of India? It's like the Avengers of India, right? It's like in terms of Marvel, like a huge movie. It, it's like, you know, Avatar of, of India. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah I, um, my understanding of Hindi isn't very good either. And I think there's like nine different languages that you can have that movie dubbed in. So, okay. Thank you very much, though, for, for letting me know about that, Praveen. And uh, anyone else from India have any thoughts on that? Um, <laughs> Mark and Mindy, Tony. Oh, gosh. Does anybody remember Mork and Mindy? Wow. What a, I haven't thought of that show since I was in sixth grade when it was on. Wow. Blue Tack, thank you so much for the super chat, pal. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm still trying to get these. these I don't want to give people's real names here. I got to respect privacy. Okay. And Blue Tack 318. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, Jonathan, definitely want to do that. Definitely want to do that. Okay, so does anyone have any questions on today's XH2 topic with the Zoom or any other questions about that that I can answer? I am planning on doing the next live stream when the XT5 gets here. So let's let's look at the calendar. Um, Friday the 18th is a week from now. And that will be one day after B&H has said that the camera will be shipped. I have overnight shipping, so it's very possible that that camera could be here in the studio on Friday the 18th. So the decision that I have to make is, should our next live stream be a big deal with the X-T5, or do I do one and it hasn't arrived yet, and then the one after that is, is a big deal. I'm, I'm thinking more and more that, you know, if the camera doesn't get here by Friday the 18th, which is next week, then I would, the next time we do a live stream will be the 25th. It'll definitely be here by then. 
So um, I just think that that would be... <laughs> Uh, you're not going to be able to keep up with Mr. Jarble. He is, he's just, he, he's nuts. He is so fast with that. Uh, oh, hello, 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 Ireland. Awesome, awesome. Crook J at Kitchen Corner. Nice to meet you. Anyone else? Um, <laughs> shy videos. <laughs> okay, I will definitely do that. I will definitely do that. And yes, yes, I remember Robin Williams. That was his first TV show. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, wait a minute. X, wait a second. This is bothering me. Hold on a minute. Stop the press. Dan, is that true? 1125? Is that from B&H? Really? You're sure about this? Hold on. That's, let me check. Bear with me, folks. Fuji Rumors, you said? Okay, I'm at Fuji Rumors right now. Okay, he, they do have an article about a supply notice and possible shortages, but I am not seeing anything about... Oh, wait a minute. The following products released on Friday, November 25th. Okay, well, that's weird because when you click through on Fuji Rumors and you go to... If you go to B&H right now, their website says estimated ship date Thursday, November 17th. So they haven't updated their site, and I'm surprised. How would Fuji Rumors know the date ahead of B&H? And I hate to say it, as much as I love Fuji Rumors, and Fuji Rumors is the best, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go with the place that I actually bought the camera from. They're saying right here, it's the 17th. Also, I really want it to be the 17th and not the 25th, please. So, yeah. I, I mean, that's uh, now I'm concerned, though. So we'll have to see. Um, okay, Natalie, you're saying it's a Japanese release. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. This is great. You know what? I wish I had this like when I was taking exams back in college and high school because you all just figure stuff out so quickly. You know what I mean? Like I could be, I could be sitting here going, well, I don't know. Does RRR, is it dubbed in Hindi? Maybe it's not. And then within like two seconds, someone will go, yes, it is dubbed in Hindi. It's incredible. It's like there's all these brains, you know, and they're, <laughs> they're all working in here. It's, it's amazing, really. Uh, all right, wait a minute. I got to get back. We got super chats here. Um, boy, hold on. Um, let me catch up with these. Shatiana Dev. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, what did you say? I didn't see the other part of what you said. Hold on. Um, pair of character lying on the side, raising his arm while saying, how's it going? Okay. Um, Okay, thank you for the super chat, though. Uh, all right, wait, we got some more here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Bot mixer, uh, um, Shiba dog shaking his hips, saying, "Oh, wait a minute." Okay, so what the? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I figured it out. I figured this is this is funny. So, by the way, thank you both so much for the super chats. I, thank you. What's going on here is. In the software, okay, they're putting animated GIFs. So, like, let me see if I can show it to you. This lens is... Hold on a second. Yes, I am going to delay the end of this stream because I want you to see this. Okay, so what I want you to see... Okay. Okay, so look, 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 look. So this is what I see, okay? You see the little animated ding, 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 ding? You see that? Okay, so apparently the YouTube web browser shows the animation. It shows the, the animated little kitty cat GIF, right? However, when I go and I drag onto the screen the actual thing, it doesn't show the graphic, but it does like, I guess it's the alt text, you know, if someone's blind or visually impaired, the, the, the text. So that's what that's about. That was really funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was really funny. All right. Um, wow. Okay. You know what? Um, absolutely. And I promise you, those of you who are thinking of getting an X-T5 but are waiting for a review, I am going to put a lot into that review. Okay. I know, I know what's on that review. I, I get it. I mean, this is not like 
four years ago or three years ago when I reviewed the, you know, the X-T3 and I was goofing around in here and it was more of an unboxing. This is going to be more of a, of a full-blown looking in every nook and cranny review of that camera. And I take it very seriously. Um, probably will be at least two weeks after I get the camera at this rate, but it, definitely. And I'm going to do two main sections, video and stills from it. And I will be making raw files available for download from that camera for everybody. Okay, normally I do that for the backstage people, but for the X-T5 and only the X-T5, I've decided I want to make it for everyone because that is, it's a big deal. And there's so many people that are on the fence of getting that camera and to be able to see some sample raw files, I think can really help you. And I, I want to do that, so. Okay, um, bum, 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 bum. I have to get going. And yeah, Ed, that's about what it is, a neural network. <laughs> I love my neural network. Uh, oh, look, what well, we got a notice here from the Italians. The Italians are going mad with XT5 reservations. Good for them, good for the Italian, that's awesome. Um, just let me get mine first so I can do a review on it. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, it's not a review unless I drop the camera. Yeah. You know, um, I have not yet dropped the X. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I haven't dropped this yet. By the way, I have to say thank you very much to B and H photo. Okay. For loaning this to me, I get to keep this for 30 days and I will have a link uh, to b &H Photo where you can pick up one of these lovely cameras in the description down below when I go and I edit the playback version. But thank you to b &H for the for the gear. All right. Okay, everyone, I'm going to be signing off. Uh, we are at 206 concurrent viewers. This is great. We had, uh, let's see here, we've had 834 people that have tuned in throughout the time. Now, some people tune in and then, and then I bore them and they drop out or something happens, but 834, that's great. And so uh, thank you all for the super chats. Thank you to Backstage, you know who you are. And thank you to Mr. Jarble. And I will see you in the next one, yes? In the meantime, ba -ba -ba, uh, like and subscribe, you know the deal. And... Uh, God, I really don't want to go, but my kids are waiting for me. I got, I got to go. Um, but yeah, is there anything else? Hello, hello. Let's see, Jonathan. Oh, you guys are all talking to each other. I love that. I love that. That's a really good idea. You want me to do like a whoops? <laughs> That's a really good idea, Eric. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I like that. I kind of like that. Okay. All right. I got, I got to go. Um, let me turn this thing off. Boom. And I will be back in a new live. Well, I'll be back in a new video early next week. I will be back in a new live stream either next Friday, if I get lucky with the X-T5, or I will be the following Friday. So uh, we'll, we'll just have to see how that goes and plays out. Anyhow, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. I really appreciate you dropping by. And uh, once again, you made my day. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.